I'm Commodore Jose Kurtz, Commandant of the Royal Military College of Canada. Thank you for being with us this evening. Je suis la Commandante Jose Kurtz, Commandant du Collège Militaire Royal du Canada. Merci de vous joindre à nous. It is with great sadness that I confirm the devastating loss of four of our officer cadets. They were involved in a vehicle incident here on RMC campus on Point Frederick at approximately 2 o'clock this morning. I received the news early this morning when I was at West Point with our team participating in the Sandhurst Military Skills Competition and I came back to Kingston as quickly as I could. Aujourd'hui est une journée extrêmement difficile pour la communauté du CMR. These four amazing young adults were fourth year students and were set to graduate with their university degree and commission as officers in the Canadian Armed Forces. La perte soudaine de ces jeunes élèves officiers au tout début de leur carrière comme officier dans les forces armées canadiennes va laisser un grand vide au collège. Officer Cadet Jack Hogarth was completing a Bachelor of Arts in Military and Strategic Studies. Jack was going to be an armored officer in the Canadian Army. Officer Cadet Andre Honchu was completing a Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration. Andre was going to be a logistics officer in the Canadian Army. Officer Cadet Broden Murphy was completing a Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration. Broden was go going to be an aerospace environment controller in the Royal Canadian Air Force. Officer Cadet Andreas Selek was completing a Bachelor of Arts in Military and Strategic Studies. Andreas was going to be an armored officer in the Canadian Army. Their families have now been notified. Les familles ont été informées. As you can appreciate, the entire RMC community is devastated by this tragic loss. The principal of RMC, Dr. Harry Cole, and I extend our deepest condolences to their loved ones. As parents ourselves, we can only imagine their pain and we will continue to provide them the support they need in the tough days and weeks ahead. We've also been supporting our Naval and Officer Cadets, our staff and our faculty as we go through this difficult time together. And our sincere thanks goes to the teams that are providing grief counseling to those affected. At this time, RMC's priority is to ensure our Naval and Officer Cadets, our staff and our faculty and our families are cared for and are supported. The RMC community is a close-knit family and we're rallying behind each other on and off campus. Nous sommes fiers de la famille élargie du CMR, les membres du personnel de la faculté et nos étudiants, et nous apprécions énormément les marques de sympathie que nous continuons de recevoir de partout au pays depuis tôt ce matin. Now, I'm very aware that the information I'm able to provide at the moment will not answer all your questions. I also hope you will understand that we are doing all we can to keep everyone informed. However, an investigation into this incident by the Canadian Forces National Investigation Service is ongoing and in order to ensure the integrity of the investigation, details of the incident will not be provided until the investigation is complete. Les détails de l'incident seront partagés au terme de l'enquête en cours. I'm now prepared to answer some of your questions, en français ou en anglais, dans la langue de votre could, choix. Could you repeat in French that they were in their fourth year graduating and then repeat their names under what they were doing in French, just for our French colleagues, so they have this important information. Now, the uh, les quatre individus, quatre jeunes adultes, étaient des étudiants de quatrième année. 
euh, ils étaient sur le point euh, de graduer et d'obtenir leur euh, diplôme universitaire et d'obtenir leur brevet d'officier euh, pour devenir des officiers dans les forces armées canadiennes. L'élève officier Jack Hogarth était sur le point de compléter son baccalauréat en art, en études militaires et stratégiques. Jack euh, était pour devenir un officier euh, blindé avec euh, l'armée canadienne. L'élève officier André Honchu était en train de compléter un baccalauréat en art, en administration des affaires. Euh, André était pour être un officier de logistique avec l'armée canadienne. L'élève officier Broden Murphy était à compléter son baccalauréat en art, en administration des affaires. Broden était pour devenir un contrôleur de l'environnement aérospatial avec la avec euh, la Force aérienne euh, canadienne. Et l'élève officier Andreas Salek était en train de compléter un baccalauréat en art, en études militaires et stratégiques. Andreas était pour devenir lui aussi euh, un officier euh, blindé euh, dans l'armée canadienne. Okay. Est-ce que ça répond à votre question? Oui. And my follow-up is just, uh, could there be charges following this incident in regards to the four survivors? Okay. Is that the yeah, we're, we're, we're getting into speculation about what the causes of the incident, uh, the, the incident are. Uh, we don't have such details right now. We need to let this investigation run its course. And, uh, and then once we have some of those details at the term of the investigation, uh, we will be sharing. Uh, uh, en français aussi? Oui. Alors, uh, Euh, naturellement, euh, votre question portait sur s'il y aurait des charges qui seraient portées. Euh, ce que j'aimerais dire, ce que j'ai déjà expliqué, c'est qu'il y a une enquête qui est en cours pour le moment. Alors, euh, euh, les détails que, que vous demandez pour le moment sont dans euh, la sphère de spéculation. On n'a pas ces détails euh, des causes de l'incident. Euh, au terme de l'enquête, on aura les détails et puis certaines conclusions pourront être tirées à ce moment-là. Start over here. Thank you. Are you able to say whether or not the four cadets were on a school exercise at 2 o'clock this morning when they were out at the point? Uh, again, uh, so uh, that is not uh, information that is available. It's part of the investigation uh, as to the status of, of those uh, those four individuals. And, uh, and then, again, uh, details will be provided when they are available. And what follow up would be, was that a mir military vehicle that was involved? Again, uh, the details of the vehicles are, are part of the investigation. Yeah. I know that you can't provide a whole lot of, of information, but are you able to explain, and the, the car of or, or the truck was obviously traveling all along the roadway. Can you give us any um, any specifics as to you know what the truck was doing and, and how it ended up in the water? Uh, again, uh, that is under investigation. Uh, the teams are the National Investigation Service are looking at uh, the data that is available right now uh, as to what the vehicle was doing and what caused uh, the incident to occur. So I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have that information right now. Commodore Kurtz, I'm sorry, uh, we're just going to do the follow-up follow question. And was it just the four um, students who were in the vehicle? Were, are there any others involved um, that, uh, that you know of? Th that we are aware of. Again, we're going to wait for the details of, uh, of uh, the investigation. Kurtz, I understand that the school term has done and the classes were finished. Why were the students still on the campus? Okay, so uh, in fact, the term is not quite done, so uh, the students are still in their exam period uh, until tomorrow. Uh, and then, uh, so that's from, a, that's from a, um, an academic perspective. Uh, but the students, the Naval and Officer Cadets, will remain at Royal Military College until later in May after the, uh, the convocation where students in their fourth years will be receiving their degrees. Uh, and then the next day where those same uh, fourth year students will be commissioned as officers in the Canadian Forces. And after that, that's the summer period that starts for Royal Military College. The fourth years will go into their environments. They'll start their environment training into their occupations. And then the rest of our students will be dispersed across the country doing various elements of, of training. And, uh, and so that's why they are here until the official end of the term, as opposed to the official end of the academic period. And my follow-up to that, Commodore Kurtz, is can you confirm whether the four uh, 
deceased I had finished their exams on this term. I am not uh, privy to that information uh, at this date. Okay. Can you can confirm that it was a military vehicle? I cannot confirm any uh, information about the, the vehicle itself. This comes on the second anniversary of another tragedy that affected RMC. Would you like to say anything with regards to the unfortunate coincidence of, of the timing of this tragedy and that one? Yeah, uh, indeed. It's a very uh, interesting coincidence. I I'm not sure how to qualify that. Uh, two different two different events, I would say, uh, very close to RMC, uh, but the first one with the, the clash of Stalker 2-2 that you're referring to two years ago um, in the uh, in the Mediterranean Sea uh, was involving and was, was during an operation uh, involved graduates of, of Royal Military College. In the current case here, we're talking about four currently studying officer cadets and uh, and this is hitting close to the RMC community uh, and I'm not saying that it didn't hit close two years ago but this one is hitting us uh, very hard and very close as, as you can imagine uh, so on a day where we're remembering a very uh, somber moment uh, here we are uh, starting yet another grief period we have time for one more question can you repeat that last part in French oui um, la question faisait allusion uh, uh, au fait qu'aujourd'hui est le deuxième anniversaire uh, uh, du, uh, de l'événement Stalker 2-2, l'hélicoptère qui s'est uh, échoué en mer Méditerranée uh, il y a deux ans. Uh, dans, ce, dans le cas de l'événement d'il y a deux ans, c'était des gens qui avaient gradué du collège militaire, mais l'événement uh, comme tel uh, était un incident qui s'était produit durant une opération des forces canadiennes. Uh, ici, aujourd'hui, deux ans plus tard, C'est un événement qui touche directement la communauté du collège, dans le sens que ce sont des étudiants qui sont en train d'étudier au collège. Alors, je vous dirais que si c'est une coïncidence, c'en est une qui nous touche très profondément. Alors qu'on se rappelle des événements d'il y a deux ans, euh, on amorce par le fait même euh, une autre période de deuil euh, qui est très euh, profonde pour toute la communauté. We'll just take that final question now. If I may just sort of ask you to elaborate on what you just said. I mean, when you said the names of those four young people who, who passed away, it really, you know, you put names to, to this tragedy. Can you sort of summarize just the enormity of this loss? These, these people, like, at the start of their career, what it means not only to a loss to the Canadian forces, but to this tight-knit community as well. Absolutely, tight-knit. I'm glad you used that term. Um, the Royal Military College is a university like any other Canadian university, but it's a small university. We have about 1,200 students on campus. And so to lose four all at once, I mean, those young people and our staff and the faculty, uh, we pretty much all know each other. I live here. Uh, I see those young people every day. And so um, four at a time uh, under such circumstances, it's tough. Thank everyone for their time. Thank you for your time. Uh, and I'll just, I'm here to answer any follow-on questions or any background information.